Hi everybody, how's it going? I got back from my vacation now. Got my back tire fixed too. And I'm here to do the update video on my 1988 Oldsmobile 98 Regency Brome. These uh, these rim spinners were not on there when I when I bought it. The uh, the old ones were on there when I bought it. And this car was from the auction. And me and my grandma just just bid on this car and and I bought the car from the auction. And it uh this car was in great condition when uh when I bought it. I'm gonna have to wash it because it's because it's really dirty now. These uh these are actually actually deer whistles and but uh but I don't hear it but but when I but the deer hears it when uh when they run go off the road. And well, I mean when I was driving I, I don't hear it, but the deer hears it though. This is just a small little dent on it. It's it's not that bad though, but this car is still in great condition. Like I told you guys when I bought it, I named her Eleanor from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. With that 67 Shelby Mustang Eleanor. And this car had about 81,000 miles on it when I bought it. Still has 83,000. Almost up to 84,000. I had these windows, I put those windows, Harley Davidson window stickers on there from my uh, I, I mean I bought I got those window stickers and I put them on the Eleanor too and this is actually the third time I I got a car now this is the third one right now the since you guys remember my first car the 1992 Buick Regal Limited and She's, well, Chris, I had that car for two years, and like I told you, when I got got that one, I named her Christine from that movie, Christine. And that second car I had that you guys remembered was that 1998 Mercury Grand Marquis LS. I named her Lola from the song Lola. But um, but I had that one for four months. Not even sure what happened there. This was not on here when when I bought it too. Uh, the paint is a little little faded on this uh, on the mirror. And anyway, I can't afford to fix that frame control arm on uh, on Lola. It's too expensive to fix it. So I'm not sure how long I've had Eleanor though. But um, I'm planning on to to get a um, to get a truck with four wheel drive, but um, I'm not sure how long Elnor will last. But I'm gonna keep driving her until until she'll she'll last. But when I'm probably gonna sell her when she reaches 150 thousand miles on her, she still has 83 thousand. 
but that's all right guys i'm gonna keep driving her until she until she lasts and this is close like the same body style buick century the 1982 to 1987 as I told you guys about it, as you can you can tell by the side. And also guys, my grandma found out that this car was owned by her dad's cousins. Her dad's cousin was 85 years old when she passed and she, her and her husband owned this car and this had 14 miles on it when when they bought it brand new and she still left that blanket in the back of the in the in the trunk too it still left those cassette players in in there too so now i'm taking care of it for my grandma's dad's cousin And they took really good care of this car when uh, when they had it. Not sure why the tape's on there. The interior is still in great shape. And as I told you guys before, the reason why there was tape and the small cover on it is because it there was a there's cracks on the steering wheel still so i still i'm still not taking it off but i'm leaving it on there cuz i don't want to want it to fall apart still have this harley davidson steering wheel cover nice wood grain steering wheel in on the center and on the dash. I probably didn't drive this that much, but I drive it every day. I have to clean the inside of Eleanor too. Eleanor has 83,614 miles. Still pretty good mileage for for a 33-year-old car. And by this weekend, I'm going to have to take my car up to my uncle's to have to see why the engine light came on again and it was staying off while I was driving and it came on again it keeps going on and off every time I was driving and I'm gonna have my uncle have a look at it and see why it was on There we go. She still starts up fine, but um, I'm not sure why she's having a problem with her starter. And she does, and this car has cruise control. Got your turn blinkers. Windshield wipers.
you have your e-brake. Go ahead and roll the window down. Got the headlights on, the hazards. And we'll pop the hood too. So anyway guys, um, I think I might plan to get like a 2000, or no, 1999 to 2000, 2002 Silverado, or 2003 to 2004, or no, 2003 to 2005, okay, or maybe like a Silverado, or a Sierra, or an S10, but I'm gonna have to wait and figure something out until I'm, until I'm done driving this car when it reaches 150,000 miles. Still has 83,000 like I told you. Got a nice leather roof. I'm not sure why the scratch is on the mirror. The side of the mirror. Eleanor drives the same like Christine and Ellen and Lola. Still can't believe I I have a I, the, I still can't believe the third time I had a car now. Let that out. I don't know I don't know why that's not blinking. But that one is, but this one's not. This one this one actually works, but I'm not sure why that one doesn't work. And you know when it's dark outside these when you turn your when you turn the lights on these actually showed up showed up at night Oh and when and and when I turn 32 years old I am I'm going to plan to get a Tesla Model S I seen a lot of them when I was uh, when I was traveling on on vacation like the Tesla Model S, Tesla Model 3, Tesla Model X, I believe, is a, another one, I think. But I'm going to have to save up, save up a lot to buy a Tesla Model S. Like, I'm going to get one with autopilot that drives itself on a highway. Thirty eight hundred V six. I was lucky I bought this car at the auction. I'm really enjoying driving this car and it drives really smooth like Christine and Lola.
Got power windows, power mirrors, power locks. Oh no, power seats, power mirrors. Got a new air freshener in there. The old one uh, stopped the uh, stopped, uh, air freshening. And also guys, I might plan I might still plan to get the 1982 to 1987 Buick Century. And you guys still remembered when uh, when I was in high school that I was planning to get the orange 1984 Buick Century, but that's that's still gone cuz someone else bought it has it still. But it's all right. I'm still going to keep looking for some, for that body style Buick Century. Smooth steering. I'll show you the inside of Eleanor now. And guys, my grandpa told me that the air conditioning need to be charged because um, cause it stopped because it's not cooling because it keeps doing that clicking noise every time I turn it on. I'll let you hear it. You see, it did that clicking. It did that click noise because it's not because it's not cooling anymore. I'm gonna have to get that checked to, as and it will be and it will be fixed. And I still got to get that check engine light checked with my uncle. Here's your cup holders. And as I told you guys, these uh, these were in here when uh, when I bought the car from the auction. Interior, interior and panel. I should leave the door open. It's hot in here. I'll give the Eleanor some revs. I should probably give Eleanor some gas. Let's go and shut her off. Show you the rest of my, my car. Oh, and when you, and guys, when you stop at a stoplight and stop sign, these, these spinners were, just keep spinning when you stop at a stoplight and a stop sign. There's a blanket that that my grandma's dad's cousin left in here. 
Oh, and there's this uh, same cup holder from, from Christine. Jack storage. Hmm. Never noticed that was that was in, in here. There's spare tires under here too. This, uh, this, this lock is, um, from the store is having a problem. Oop, put that open. There we go. I think this was this was back here when uh when I got it from the auction too. Do have these lights back here? You have your club box. All right, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this update video on my 1988 Oldsmobile 98 Regency Brome. Stay tuned for my next video. I'll catch you guys later. Take care, everyone.